snowstorm. I told you we should have gone by plane. We'd be in Moscow by now. You know I'm afraid of flying. I'm aerophobic. There's no connection. Mom, I could have flown on my own. Well, it makes sense to go with you. That way we get to visit your Aunt Marina. We haven't seen her in 10 years. My goodness. When you're alone in Munich, you will get to fly. But for now, enjoy yourself. Look at the landscape outside this window. Truly beautiful. <laughs> The passengers are complaining. The child must practice. For your information, he's going to perform at the Kremlin. Let him perform at the Kremlin. The people here are trying to rest and get a good night's sleep while he's playing this noisy thing. This thing? That's an Amati. They cost 150,000 rubles. Who would have thought that there are people who don't know where to spend their money? Well, you served us cold tea. Albert? Sergey, what's wrong? Aren't you happy you're going to Germany? Well, I don't know. I'll mostly be sitting on the bench at first. My German is pretty bad, and they don't know me either. Unlike here, where the whole stadium feels like family. <laughs> Sergey. Sergey what? Dad, do you think I was happy to read all those slogans at the last match, like, Zarkov, go away. I've really betrayed my team, and its supporters as well. If all players thought like that, professional soccer would not exist. You've got the entire world at your feet. <laughs> yeah, sure. He'll give me a ride to Nobody the is station. going anywhere. New Year's Eve is a family holiday, and everyone should celebrate at home with their family. What family are you talking about? Me, you, and a broken TV? First of all, I don't even know this boyfriend of yours. Sergey! Even more so. I can't let my daughter go with someone I don't know, and I'll fix the TV! Dad! Sergey is a good guy. I'm going to marry him! Just like that. I'm sorry, Dad. I haven't had the chance to tell you. Why should you? This is something they did in the past. Why should you introduce your fiance to your parents, ask for your hand, or have matchmakers? No matchmakers. Come on, Dad. We are, well, grown up. Independent people, and we've already made a decision. People used to be grown up at 20, or when they went to war. You know nothing about life, yet you consider yourself a grown up. Sergey is a soccer player with a bright future. As of January, he'll play in the German team, so I don't... So this boy's a soccer player, you say? <laughs> Sergei Zarkov, a forward for the Russian U-20 national <laughs> team. Dad, he's going to Munich, and I'm going with him. 
you don't even know if he's told his parents about you, and you're already making long-term plans, aren't you? You know what, Masha? I'm not even sure if this Sergei really exists. I'll call him now, and you can ask whatever you want, okay? Hello, Andre. Hello! Masha, are we going or what? There's a real snowstorm out there. The number you were calling Unavailable. Is unavailable. Don't you believe me? Mm. She's please. going to get married, and Let she go. told her father about it. Dad, here, please. Here's your Moscow. Dad. Here's your Germany. And here, and here, here, here. Uh, so is anyone leaving? Somebody is. Vasya, you're going back to your village, and don't poke your nose in other people's personal lives. Some help you are. Hello. Did you get away? My mom also made me play when I was a child. Practice on the piano all the time. Blech. Take a seat. What are you reading? Well, I'm reading the book I've written myself. Oh, wow. No, oh no. There's nothing to be proud of. It's flawed and has some mistakes in it. Would you like a sandwich? <laughs> mm-hmm. The artist. Listen, if you start messing around, I'll call someone and they'll detain you at the next station. Do you understand? But, Sev, stop terrifying the child. I'm not terrifying him. I'm just thinking of my compatriots and myself. And you. No, this is really unbearable. I can't believe this is happening. Well, this is what you wanted, the last car of the train. I told you to buy tickets in the sleeping car. No, you waited until the tickets were sold out. When we decided to go, there were no tickets left for the sleeping car. You could have bought them. Did you even try? And now look where we are because of you. <sighs> Natasha, how could I get something that was sold out? Don't be angry, please. Tell me, what can I do? Tell me you're sorry? Kiss me? Say, please forgive me? Hmm? Please forgive me. <sighs> Come in, young fellow. Come in. Take a seat. Were you playing violin? Yeah. My mom makes me do it. Do you want to be a violinist? Hmm? I want to become a detective to solve mysteries. Mm -hmm. I play the violin because it helps develop critical reasoning skills. Mm, a detective. Mm -hmm. And my mom wants me to be the new David Oistrock. Who? Oistrock. She says my grandfather was a doctor, my dad is a doctor, and she's a doctor as well. That's why she wants me to become a musician. Well, doctors are trouble. No, doctors are way different. Well, you're right. Like Dr. Watson, for example. Ah, uh, what does he specialize in? In the heart or? The intestines. No, he's a friend of Sherlock Holmes. I want to get a dog and name him Watson. Each detective must have a hound. Like to do something good? But my mom doesn't let me. Don't be sad. Life takes many turns, but things have a way of working out. Here, look. Wow. You know, this isn't a wow. There's an extra one. Take it, young man. That's for you. Cool. Happy New Year. Thank you. Hush, Gray. Hush, here you are. My goodness, what is this? How come? What's this? Oh, excuse Oh, I don't me. understand. Excuse me, mister. Um, what station is this? Oh, and could you tell me, please, um, where the rest of our train went to? <sighs> yes. Good gracious. Please tell me how you ended up here. This is Dalnia Station, a railway halt, to be precise. Uh, we were going from Novosibirsk oh, no. to Moscow. Yes. We're not supposed to stop here. No, of course not. That's a dead end. 
Maybe they lost you when they were hitching a carriage onto the train or your car well, got like, why detached. Why have we stopped? Why didn't they come back to pick us up then? Where have we there stopped? There was a snowstorm yesterday. Your car might have been caught on something. Well, call somebody. I don't know. The owners of the railway. Call the police. A rescue team. I'm sorry, ma'am. I would be happy to, but the phone lines are down. What do you Congratulations. mean? Congratulations. We're here forever without any security. I'm oh, sorry. Now, how can this be? Do? It's December 31st today, New Year's Eve, but we're she here. She is talking about New Year's Eve. I have a concert at the Kremlin. Do you understand? How do we Kremlin? do? We need to get to Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, calm down. Second, That's I'll help nonsense. you as much as I can. Maybe I'll fix the phones. Depends on how I feel. It seems Greg, he doesn't understand what we're come talking on. about. Good boy. The Kremlin, here. do you hear me? The Kremlin, the say? concert. I'm a child, and it's a violin. It's ridiculous. I, don't I demand this is just crazy. a refund. What it's is okay. he saying? Don't worry about Vlada, it. Vlada, Vlada, wake up. Something's happened. What? Have we arrived? Yes, we have. Although it's unclear where we are. You won't get away with this. I'll well, use all my connections. We, we bought these here? tickets. No, wait, wait, we have wait. to get to our destination today. What does she today? have to do yeah. with that? Why should yes, we yes, pay yes, for yes. these okay, tickets? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Dear passengers, the plan for today is as follows. To start, please come inside. It's warm in there. Are we going to stay there long? Listen, maybe you could take us to a town nearby. Yes, Can yes, you do yes. That? Huh? huh? There are no towns nearby. They're all far away. There's a village nearby, but we can't get there. There's no transportation. Then call for a helicopter here. Do you call oh, this yes, building a station? Yeah. The shed? There are a lot of cockroaches and bed bugs in there. I can feel it. Yes, and what are we going to eat? Oleg, you promised me a dining car. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no restaurant here. There's no bed bugs or cockroaches either. And I don't see a helicopter. Ladies and gentlemen, I recommend you go into the station building and I'll try to fix the phones. Oh. Okay then. And by the way, <sighs> they're wolves around. And they're very hungry. <sighs> well, I have something to tell you. Oleg, follow me! Follow me! <laughs> Albert, go to the building immediately! Albert, immediately! Give me a hand, give me a hand, thank you! Explain no, this. Do not, let him not let him worry. We will heat the car this. and arrange the power oh, supply. Nice. That way, you will all be able to sleep comfortably in your what own room. What do you mean by really, sleep? Really what do you mean? Me. Are we going to stay right here for yes. New Year's Eve? Well, uh -huh. anything can happen. And about the wolves, I was joking. What? Oh, this is oh, like do something about this, please. What the hell? Yeah. Wait, what's your name? You don't know me. In 24 hours, you'll be kicked out of here, is that clear? Ew. And take your scary dog with you. Well, he's trying to help us as he can. Honey, please yes. calm down. My name is Andre. I'll write it down. I'll get you the paperwork for your complaint. Don't need I'll it. I'll take care of the dog, and we'll make some hot tea for the rest of you. Will you help? Sure. Mm -hmm. And kid, take the chairs out from behind the cash register so this gentleman can get comfortable. Come on, come on, work. He's the boss. He orders everyone here. And you, go chop some wood. Oh, Don't just stand please. there like that. No cell service. Go find please. a payphone. <gasps> Masha? What are you doing here? Well, our, our carriage was detached and we... We... <laughs> These guys are really behaving indecently. Listen, calm down. What's Listen going on? Who Listen. is this girl? Mom, this was a surprise. I'm Masha. That's my mom. Valeria. Viktorovna. Valeria Viktorovna. Uh, mom, uh, I planned this differently, but, you know... Okay, so... Masha is my fiancé. Really? Uh, that, that's a surprise indeed. We'll discuss it later. With your father. Mom, there's nothing to discuss here. We've decided <laughs> We've everything. We've decided everything. What did you decide? What did you decide? You are to fly to Munich. <laughs> We're going We're to fly together. together. Let's talk about that later. I, I think we have bigger problems uh, right now. It, it was nice to meet you, Masha. Mom. Masha. Masha, don't get offended, please. I'm not. I know you are, Masha. She was caught by surprise. That's all. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, sure, by surprise. Her son is flying to Europe, and here comes some village girl with him. What does this have to do with that? The main thing is that I love you so much. We don't need our parents' permission. We're not 15 anymore. We have made the final decision. <sighs> what? <sighs> I'm talking about my father now. Do you know why I'm here? Because he went and ripped my ticket into pieces. So he... Yes, he's the director of this station. <laughs> what a coincidence. Well, I can see he's very active. <laughs> uh -huh. He was a captain in the Air Force, then he got injured. Now he's working at the rail. Russia. Road. We need to introduce our fathers to each other. I'm sure they'll find a lot in common and everything will be just fine. Hmm? And the other one with the hamster coat, is he capable of speaking normally or does he only shout and curse? Give me a helicopter, he says. Uh-huh. I didn't like him when he was on the train. And the other lady, she keeps saying restaurant. I want to go to a restaurant, a restaurant. I can't. <laughs> Albert? I've been looking for you everywhere. What are you doing here? Nothing. Breathing fresh air. If Oystrock didn't sit and practice, where would he be now? Take it. You must practice. Oh, look, a pine tree. Mom, I can't practice all the time, especially when doing the same thing. Interesting. What would you like to do? I don't know. Karate, shooting range. I'd even play chess. Oh, let your father play chess, just with the neighbors. And karate is for juvenile delinquents. You'll damage your fingers. Sherlock Holmes, for your information, was good at boxing. It didn't prevent him from playing violin. Sherlock Holmes, for your information, didn't have a concert at the Kremlin, for which you need to rehearse. Come on, go and practice. Practice, Albert! Practice! <sighs> We could take the glasses from my carriage. It should be enough for everyone. Let's go. Okay, are you kidding or what? I asked you to stop playing music. The child must practice. Oh my God, the situation is bad enough already and now this music? Oh, like, I can't stand it. Natasha, what? Natasha, practice? Natasha, let him go to the forest and practice there until all the wolves die. The child cannot practice oh. in the cold. Albert? You know what? You know what? I can't listen to this music of yours anymore. No. Natasha. Natasha what? Natasha what? Oleg. Albert. Mom, it's just that the violin is damp right now. That's why it sounds like that. It's damp? Why didn't you tell me immediately? My goodness, we must dry it right now. Uh, where can we do that? In the stove or in the fire? Are you nuts? By the way, that's an Amadi. A, a copy. And I'm Bertsev, the original. Uh, <gasps> Ooh. Well, you... This one, what? which starts with an A. Mati. Yes, put it on the stove. It'll dry up. This will spoil the instrument. Look behind the cash registers. There seems to be a heater there. Thank you. Albert, give me the violin. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a pot that's big enough. No problem. We'll have to boil water several times. I have cookies, chocolates, and instant noodles, but not too much. Oh. Mm. How hard it is for me! How painful it is! Natasha, look, it's hard for everyone, and this is something no one saw oh coming. Oh my god, and you're always reading your book! Well, I'm writing a thesis on denaturation theory of irritation. That's right, Oleg, irritation. That's right, you're irritating me right now. That's what your theory is about. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's going on? Oh my god. Why did I agree to go to Moscow with you? Here, hold, Seriously. Hold this. Hey, wait, come back. If you stay here long enough, we're gonna have to go to the village to buy some food. Maybe someone will come pick us up. And the phone line's not working of all days. Dad. Dad, wait. Oh, 
Do you happen to have cigarettes? No, I don't smoke. That's a pity. I'd even have a drink right now. Oh, Oleg, Oleg. Yours is nice. Looks cute. Natasha, we're going to get married. Us too. But I don't know if I should go through with it. He's supposed to take me to this university? But I don't know if that's what I want. As they say, life goes on. Yes. Oh, you're awake now. And here we are, fussing around. We have guests. Meet my daughter. Oh, hello. She's grown up. Yes. <laughs> no, you know, he's actually really yeah, funny. Thing, he's know, always I'm talking sure. about these cells of deoxy... Deoxyribonucleic acid. Yeah, we gotta go to the village. Look, you're smart. Know, Should we exchange our boyfriends? <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. We're not really set up for, uh, so your guy, who is he? He's a soccer player. This is the, this and they invited him to play in Germany. Oh, no wow. Here, should we really I exchange boyfriends? I knew it. Boyfriend? I felt it. I should have gone by plane. I don't know about you, but I must be in Moscow at the New Year's concert at the Kremlin. The boy with the violin was going to perform there. I can ask him to play for you. That's funny. Don't you get so tense. You know what? Just don't let him go. You know, since you're so lucky. I'll go to Moscow, meet Oleg's mother, and maybe it'll turn out well. Hold on, Natasha, but you don't love him. I hate staying in Biersk, washing filthy hair at the salon. I want to live a normal life, do you understand? In Moscow. Oh, yeah. I'm having a meeting at the Kremlin with Sergey. No deal. You can meet him next time. You don't understand. He's not a man you reschedule an appointment with. Stop He'll say, Burtsev is not punctual. Why support him with his mayoral elections? We'll just support somebody else. Listen, I think it's all for the better. Burtsev, the fact that you're an MP is more than enough for me. Sessions, commissions, That's because interviews. you can't understand that I can't remain in the same position. I want to make life in the city good. Who else would but me? The swindler Vasiliev, the mad idiots in that office, tell me! Stop. Not to mention the communists! Stop shouting! Hey, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> if the phone lines were connected, I could warn them, explain it's an emergency. But it's not working, woman! Hey, let me go! I will. If you tell me why you're spying on them. I'm not spying. I'm just watching. Have you seen something interesting? Nothing interesting for a detective. Mm. They all quarrel with each other. As if they didn't know there would be a holiday soon. You're right. Nobody knows that the new year won't come until they settle all their disputes. What do you mean? I mean it. Don't you know who I am? Well, a pensioner. I am not a pensioner. I'm Santa Claus. Stop talking to me like a child. If you're Santa Claus, why don't you touch the ground and let our car turn up in Moscow? You don't even have a wand. A wand is unnecessary. I can easily send them to Moscow, yet it won't change anything. They'll be unhappy anyway. They'll go on fighting with each other. They need help. What are you going to do? Not me. Us. You, to be precise. Me? You. You see that Masha and Sergei need help. Help them. The daughter of the station director and the soccer player? Yes. What they want is for their fathers to meet. Help them. And then you'll be happy. Oh, something like a quest, right? Like to do something good? Yes, something like a quest. So then, we have a deal? Deal. Helping them is more interesting than playing the violin anyway. Yes. I'm sorry, do you live here? Do you think we'll manage to leave today? Actually, I'm studying in Moscow, and I've come here to see my dad. I don't know whether you'll be able to leave today. Depends on the weather. 
My goodness, I felt it. I didn't want to go. I thought we'd stay at home with parents and friends, and my husband kept telling me to Moscow, to Moscow. <sighs> well, maybe he has some business there. He always has some business. It's always important. We've been together for ten years. We don't have kids or family. We haven't even registered our marriage. He has no time. He told me we would when he's elected mayor. Well, that's what he used to say. When I'm elected as MP, then we'll do it. <laughs> what are you doing? doing? How Stop dare it. you Stop show it. your face around Hands here? Off. Stop Stop it. It. I've Stop. definitely you, seen this cutie somewhere. <laughs> this is so Stop cool. You look at me. Do you recognize me? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I will, Stop it. I will make What's sure going on? you never, ever, Stop. Stop. ever. Stop it right now. See, no, you stop. You hey, stop. stop it. <laughs> Call the police. Stop. Call the police. Oh, you police. You We're supposed Come to be on. adults. Oh, Dad, God. what are you Stop. doing? Stop, stop it. it. No, you. Uh, stop uh, it. Oh, no, this is terrible. Uh, what are you doing? Stop it. Uh, no, right now, what are you doing? Stop it. What's going on? What have you done? Have you all gone mad? He broke my nose. What do you mean by broke? Is that your dear boyfriend, the son of a bastard? Watch your language. I have a handkerchief. But dad! Here, what? take no this. What? No wedding. Here, Over take my it. dead no, body. No, no, I gotta... <sighs> Show me your nose. No, I... Show me your nose. Oh. Dad, oh. what happened? What happened? Oh, stop it. Albert! Passions run high. Idiots. Oh. What a Let's freak go. show. <laughs> I said let's go. Come on, come on, follow them, follow them. Dad, have you gotten mad? Why did you fight with Sergei's father? Hands off. I won't. Are you not ashamed? You're a former army officer. There are no former army officers. Huh? Let go! Dad, what are you doing? Dad, let me out of here. my fault. I told them they need to meet, and they immediately started fighting. Don't get upset. What's meant to be will be. They fought and that's it. Now help me. But everyone has to make up. They fought and then they'll make up. Hold this. Go on, go on, go on. Everything will be fine. Okay, I must go. Otherwise my mom is going to show up here screaming. If David Oistrock had spent his time outside when it was cold... <laughs> Oh, hey there. Excuse me, miss. I have something for you here. Listen. Come Dad. here. Let me have a look. Please. Dad. No, you needn't. Please. What was the fight about? Tell me. <sighs> it's my business. Okay. Then the wedding is my business. Hold on. There's no need to hurry. Well, okay. She's a nice girl, apparently, but she lives out in the middle of nowhere. So what? You have a bright future ahead of you. And your favorite, uh, Chris, uh, Chris... Cristiano Ronaldo, yes. Mom. Yes, and just in case you didn't know, his girlfriend is a model. Mom, please. What? She's from out of town, the Chelya Brinks region, very far from here. All right. But you must understand that Dad and I, we just want you to be happy. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, Mom, I do. Yet we see my happiness differently. Serioza. Oh, come on. Are you just going to sit there? Uh, oh, that's so cool. Great. That's Excuse so cool. me? Oh, sorry. What is your son? An artist? No, a soccer player. A member of the national team of Russia. Oh, cool. He's flying from Moscow to Germany. He's going to play for a team in Munich. Just imagine, <laughs> they earn millions of dollars. <laughs> oh, and you're licking your lips already. Let me remind you, his girlfriend is here as well. Which one, the shabby one? <laughs> Forget it, I'm better. Be careful or your fake boobs will burst from excitement. 
Rat, you're a rat too. Do you want to make a bet? You got it. Gentlemen, I suggest building a handcar. What railway handcar? A regular one that travels by the rails. Oh, listen here. Dismantle the wheels, add a door, here's a chain, and that's well, it. We can go. Well, theoretically. You should well, probably just give up. What about the snow? That's fine. I'll take a broomstick and go in front of you as I sweep the rails. We'll get there. What? Get where? To Moscow, the first capital. The first capital? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the old man seems to have gone crazy because of all that's happened to him. <laughs> we must find out. Someone help me! Get me out of here! Hold on, I'll save you. Help me! It's my granddaughter, Cole. Who? My granddaughter. Hello? Y yes, 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 it's me. Imagine we got stuck in a forest. A carriage got detached. Yeah. No, everything's fine. Quite warm. Even had some tea, right? I don't understand what's going on. What do you mean? We'll build a handcar so that on New Year's Eve we could hear the clock. Give it to me. Butsif, what are you doing? Hello? Oh. Hello? What? Butsef. No connection. Are you making fun of me or what? I have connection. Butsef, do you? What, do you what, have what anything? You <gasps> Is that clear? Why did you do that to my phone? Is that clear to you? Stop. Did Masha. I make it clear that time? You don't understand. Masha and I have a serious relationship. My granddaughter Man, promised to give me a new one. Man, when I become the mayor, I swear I'm gonna... What's going if you're worried about her education, this, she will take a leave of absence. And I want a steak or, sandwich. or she can learn the language and enroll to some university. That's not important right now, kid. She won't go to Germany, and she's not going to get married. Why? Have you all met and agreed to go against me? My mom and dad are saying the same thing. Oh, uh, mom and dad. And has your dad bothered to tell you why he's agreeing with her? No, it's mostly my mom. Uh-huh. Clear. All right, then. Let's go. Is this a library? No, it's an archive. When they broke up the railroad, they didn't bother to take the papers with them. Masha liked to hide here when she was a little girl. Well, in fact, Masha is not my daughter. What does that have to do with my relationship with her? Well, I married her mother, Galina, when Masha was just a little girl, and I promised that I would never tell anyone who her real father was. Because the truth is her real father dumped them when she was pregnant. That man's name was... Evgeny Zarkov. You're lying to me. It can't be true. Yes, yes, it can. The problem is that you simply can't marry your sister. Do you understand? Is Masha my sister? Yes, I understand. That was unexpected, right? Sergei, please, I ask you to find some excuse to break up with Masha. She'll feel bad at first, and then she'll forget about you. Please. That's why you were fighting with my dad. What else could it be? Well, I shouldn't have done it, I guess. <clears throat> okay, don't tell Masha. Or your parents. I guess you guys have a regular happy family, right? Your mom apparently loves this guy, Sarkov.
Excuse me, is it true that soccer players are not scared of cold, as they say? How do you know I'm a soccer player? <laughs> I know. Don't you recognize me? Should I? <laughs> I figured from all the advertisements. <laughs> How can I find you in Germany? It would just be me, uh, me and Blada. So, uh, I'm going to Germany for a photo shoot. We could see each other there. I don't know. I'm going there for the first time. I haven't even signed a contract. <laughs> oh, yes. There is only one cute and dangerous forward from Russia in Germany. <laughs> we'll find each other. Serioza, are you not ashamed? You're the last person that should be giving me a lecture. Go away, you snot nose. <laughs> you know, I have been to Paris, <laughs> but the Eiffel Tower is not as big. <laughs> I meant well, and he called me a snot nose. Those two over there? I'm not going to help anyone anymore. Thought that Serioso was a real man. I see how Don't he is. Don't give up, keep going. If you made a decision, do your best. <laughs> We need to save this guy. We need to save Masha. She's locked in the office. <laughs> Give me your hand. Go and save her. Wow. Where did you get this? It's nothing. I'm Santa Claus. Although, you don't believe me. No one believed me. I took them in the morning from the cabinet. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Watch your feet. Thank you. Like that. Huh? Mr. Railway Station Director, you must help me immediately. Excuse me, old man. One second. Come here. The thing is, our old man has gone nuts. We better tie him up. What do you need, sir? What are you up to? Me? Old man. Yes. Santa it seems this time you're right, Rutsef. Yeah. I decided to leave Veliki Ustyug and visit my relatives in Siberia, and I found some metal for a hand car. All right, all right. Old man, let's just do it this way. Why don't you calm down, and I'll arrange the power supply in the carriage. You can relax and drink some hot tea. I can't drink tea. Me and my snow maiden almost melted last time. I see. Right. I told you, the old man's gone nuts. <laughs> I have knocked on nuts. Here. My documents. <laughs> it's true. Claus. What Claus? Nikolai Claus, born 1928, registered in Vikili Ustio. Let me have a look. Do you work at the Santa Claus Museum there? What do you mean? What museum? I'm the real Santa Claus, not from some fairy tale. Don't you believe me? No. Look, the old man has gone nuts. Why are you here? Go get him. Goodness. Catch him. Ugh. Where are you going? Listen, maybe the train has come. Yes, yes. Go and have a look. They'll call us when the train comes. <laughs> Ella. The small one. Look at that, guys! Oh, okay. Your nose okay. frozen! Let's all just get him and shut his mouth. Come here, come here. Come here, old man. Come here. Come here. Santa Claus! Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Careful, No, you don't want the violin! That's it. I got you now. There we go. Everybody, let's go. We're safe out here. We have to get inside. Please help him. Oh, cancel! Oh! There we go. I told you! I told you to get tickets to the sleeping car! Natasha! Have some tea, or you'll get sick, and you need to sign a contract. Thank you. Look what I found! Wow, a soccer ball. Catch it! <laughs> we mustn't leave him here with the old man alone. What if he bites him to death? Really? Would you like to be held accountable for that? Mm. 
Mister, wake, wake up. Mm-hmm. What was it, Moscow? Yeah, an unscheduled stop. Oh, Please come okay. with us. All right, sure. Hey. hey. <laughs> Masha, you know I thought. Well, you shouldn't go with me. You have your studies here, and exams are coming. Wait, Sergey, we agreed I would take a, an academic leave. You don't understand. No, I don't. Neither do I. I don't understand it either. <laughs> yes, Seriosa? Masha, I'm sorry. I need <gasps> another wife. I'm going abroad, and the laws are different there. That's soccer. It's what I need. <laughs> what kind of wife do you need? Like this? Or like this? <laughs> I don't believe this. Well, you must. Believe me. Cut Nothing it out. Will come no, out of it. Stop it. Do you hear me? Oh, Forget oh. about me. Oh. I told you. Everything will be fine. What is going to be fine? Well, you have your whole life ahead of you. If, if a guy dumped you... Yes, that's all because of you! What? What did you tell him? Who, me? Nothing. Yes, you! In any case, I approve of what Sergei did, because it will be better for everyone this way. Yes. Dad, please just go away. He said he wouldn't marry Masha. He needs a wife, like those idiots with dyed hair. Don't believe your eyes. Believe your heart. Masha cried so much. Sometimes it's good to cry. It's healthy. Love, if it's real, will overcome everything. I know what I'm talking about. Seriosa, why don't we go back to our compartment? It's boring and disgusting in this old shed. I have some wine. I don't drink. Vlada, are you silly? Seriosa is a soccer player. He must stick to his routine. But I don't. Oh my god, I'm so tired of this snoring pig. Seriosa, you'd better walk with me. There's force all around. It's terrifying. And me as well. What if a wolverine attacks <clears throat> me? Yes, it's, it's time. Come on. You can accompany the girls. Mm, can you? Come on. Yes, let's go, girls, and have a look at your wolverine. <laughs> oh. uh, does anybody want tea, huh? I just want a filet mignon and a warm seafood salad with extra shrimp. Do you have any of that? <laughs> yes, that would be good. Are you sneaking around here? Me? I thought... I thought you've done something to yourself. You're lying there. Well, what could I do to myself? Well, you could have drank some poison. <laughs> That's a good idea, kid. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. My name is Albert. It's nice to meet you. And suicide? Suicide is a sign of weakness. So are you a psychologist? That's nothing. I've read it somewhere. Then tell me what to do. Live and fight. I don't really know why he treated me like that. Seriosa? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I think there's a mystery hidden here. What mystery? That's my father. He persuaded him or intimidated him. 
Yet we have no proof for this theory. We only have ideas. So maybe it's not exactly like that. A psychologist, a detective? You play the violin? Wait, is your surname by any chance Holmes? No. I have a funny surname. Smart of. Well, I don't know, but I think it suits you. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the wolverine didn't attack us. Or even us. the wolves. The forest is around us, yet we're not afraid. Girls, I must go. How? Where? And the wine? I must stick to the regimen. I thought we'd spend the evening together. And have some wine? Bastard. Tell me, dear son. Your dear Masha. Where did you meet each other? We met in a kennel. Okay, if you don't want to tell me, then don't. Okay. She was handing out leaflets in the kennel. Wait, was she sitting in the kennel? What? No. She was standing. Then she fell down. I pushed her accidentally. She sat there and I could see only her legs. And the kennel was made of rubber to attract attention. Attention to what? To the problem of the homeless animals. She was raising money for a shelter. Oh. Masha is studying to become a vet. Hmm. You're right, Alec. I must not give up. Sure. Sure. Could you bring Sergei here? In theory, I think I can. We need a clever plan, though. Think, think, Alec, think. I need him here in half an hour. Sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go on. So you love her, yeah? No. I don't. Really? Corkscrew. A corkscrew? Yeah. I'll find one. Uh, by the way, I have some food here. We need to start laying down the table. I guess we'll celebrate the New Year's Eve here. Uh, we don't have anything. We just have a little wine. <laughs> we'll have it instead of sparkling wine. I have two sticks of sausage. Can you slice them? The sausage? Slice it? Okay, follow me. I'll teach you. Who doesn't know how to slice sausage? Don't just stand there. Go and get dressed. <laughs> Why on purpose? It's unclear. Just as a side note. That wasn't a side note! You're always eating away at me! I don't understand why. You need this marriage stamp on your passport, huh? What stamp? I need family and kids. Do you understand? Kids? Family? I don't need family, okay? Where are you going? Wait! Come back here! Don't you understand? The election is near. I need to arrange everything with the Moscow officials. And then what's gonna happen? Another election? And another election, right? You know what, Olya? If you don't like this, Olya, I'm not keeping you. Do you understand? says you need to rub it toward your nose and everything will be fine. She's a doctor. Do you want me to call her? Oh no. I'm afraid a doctor won't help me. <laughs> no 
Hello. What happened here? What? What happened here? We were going and going and ended up here instead of Moscow. Really? Ask this guy. Ah. Listen, kid. Didn't you understand the first time? I told you already to go and never come back, okay? Andre, listen, my mom sent me. She asked me to give you this. It's a bottle of sparkling wine for the New Year's table. There's some salad and some bread. She says that she feels bad knowing that you're probably sitting here all by yourself, you know? Have all of you come to an agreement? First my daughter calls me a loner and now your mom? Well, she means that you're here alone, that you must be bored or something. <laughs> I'm not alone around here. Oh, come on, let's It's go. fun here. Take a look. <laughs> to a party. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go. <laughs> I see. If I had known, I'd have brought a little more. Listen, Vasya, listen. Hide your snowmobile so that nobody can steal it. People around here are nervous, some of them in particular. For now, you'll help me, okay? Come on. All right, whatever you say, Andre. mayonnaise. We could make a real Russian salad. Where would mayonnaise come from? Do you need any help? Oh, don't add onions, please. Mm. I never thought I'd celebrate New Year's Eve in such conditions. My friends will be waiting for me in the club. Mm. I can't even call them. Mm -hmm. And I was invited to the hottest restaurant in Moscow. Mm -hmm. My dear, please, could you please tell me what happened? I hope somebody is coming to help us. They're coming, aren't they? <sighs> no. The network doesn't work. It seems everyone has forgotten about us. We'll spend the New Year's Eve here. I got it, yeah. Have mm. a sandwich. We'll have a proper dinner later. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, the nail will grow back. They grow one to two millimeters long per week. Okay, I'm going to my compartment, and I'm not waiting for you there. I know this book. It has some weak points and has some mistakes. Young man. So do you have a science degree, or are you a member of the Science Academy to allow yourself to make such judgments? No, not at all. I'm Albert. A woman on the train told me about this work. What woman are you talking about? Well, she's a professor like you. Like me? And where is this scientific woman now? She's there, in the other hall. Albert, where are you always disappearing to? You have to practice. Come on. You know, Lena, I think it's very serious between them. Maybe we shouldn't bother them. It's better we leave them alone. Hey, you're crazy. He has the European Cup coming. What do you mean? Right around the corner. What love? What wedding? Besides, it mm, doesn't seem like true love. And what if you're wrong? <laughs> okay, then why did he leave her so easily, huh? I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to offend you. Of course not. I wish he did. Once he's got something in his mind, there's no stopping him. Listen, maybe it's her father. I mean, Masha's. Her father? Well, maybe he said something to put him against her. By the way, what happened between you? I mean, that nasty fight that you had. Well, we fell in love with the same girl more than 20 years ago. I wish I hadn't met him here. It is not too old of a story to sort things out. Well, not with someone like him. He holds grudges. Uh, it seems to me you're not telling me the whole story, are you? 
An old story, a stupid one. You're jealous, aren't you? Excuse me, ma'am, but, uh, the little boy told me that you've... I'm sorry, uh, critiqued his work. It's absolutely impersonal. Well, it's clear that the author was in a hurry, played with the facts. That's absolutely inadmissible for a reputable scientist. Uh, excuse me again, but who are you? To talk this way about this kind of subject matter. I'm the author of the book, Olga Lavrentievna. I'm sorry. In this case, of course, you have every right. But, uh... Yes, yes. In my opinion, uh, 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 this is remarkable work. I've referred to it in my, uh, dissertation many times. Are you writing a dissertation? Yes. <laughs> what is the subject? Uh, the denaturation theory of irritation. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> At the last seminar in Perm, I talked to the academic Karasik about this a lot. We had an argument, and I just... The, the scholar Karasik is my official reviewer. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, you have to be close on functions of the cell membrane. I mean, it, it, it's, it's impossible to hear. I know, I know. I've dedicated an entire section of my work to this specific problem. Really? Well, it's a good fight. That's it. Been like this? Attention, please. They unexpectedly brought some uh, provisions to us. Oh, that's good news. Oh, I wish they would take us from here. I'm sorry, as Let's of now, that's not possible. Basia! Basia! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. Really? So, Albert, what's the matter? Where are you going? Wait, wait a minute, Albert! Albert, come back here right now, Albert! Vasya, you're like a New Year's gift, honestly. <laughs> oh, hey, musician. Where are you running off to? Well, I need to... What do you need? Can you tell me what the director and the other guy were carrying in the bag? Some food for dinner? What do you mean? Wait, wait, what food? In other words, they brought the product somehow? So that means we can get out of here some way, right? Wait, Maybe. wait, hold on just a second. Hey, do you hear me? Stop, I'm right sorry. there. I'm sorry. I have no hey, time, I'm, I'm sorry. Get out of here, Alec, before I Come pull on. your ears out. This is unbelievable. Uh, well, be careful. Uh, it was that short little hooligan. How did this happen uh, to you? Oh, you're so heavy. Oh, yeah, we'll keep on. A man came on a snowmobile, and now they're going to decide who will be the first passenger to the station. He's in urgent need of help. You should have said that earlier. Attention, please. I'd like to introduce my good friend that I've known since I was a child. Well, and we can announce to you directly that I'm going to get married. To who? To you, Vasya. You found a substitute quite fast. Look at yourself. Hmm? Let's go outside. You should choose from these two. Maybe they both will go to Germany. Am I right, girls? Yes, girl. And where are you going? Don't be afraid. I won't fight. Uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. Stay still. <laughs> what do you do, unless it's top secret? Uh, me? 
Uh, you know, a uh, stylist. I'm a designer, kind of. A stylist, kind of. <laughs> well, that profession is very popular mm. now. It's creative. Yes. <laughs> uh, and what about your wife? It's no secret. <laughs> no, it's not a secret. She's... Mm, a scientist. She studies cells. Ah, uh, I know what it feels like. Oleg is a part of the same opera. He sings. No, he also studies cells. He always stares oh. at his books. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the bald guy uh, is your no, husband. No, thank goodness. You know what? Actually, Olya is not my wife. I mean, not a really. Uh, really? Mm. Oh, really? So I guessed right. <laughs> Such an interesting, fresh man. <laughs> yes. And she's, you know. Unattractive. <laughs> well, everybody has their own luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Natasha. Nice to meet you, Vitya. Oh, Victor. <laughs> it means winner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's make peace, what do you say? You have a snowmobile, right? Let's suppose so. Will you take me to the city? I need to go to Moscow. So you two can get married and have babies. I wish you both the best. The, the, the roads are drifted, there's a storm. I can barely get here. I don't understand. <sighs> Very honest. Listen, maybe you don't want to take me seriously. Are you a soccer player? Yeah, I'm like you. <clears throat> you trying to scare me now? I could kick your ass. I'll tear you up like a well, newspaper. You can try. Boys, boys, cut it out. Rosa, what are you doing? Come on, come on, come on. Get, get out of my way. Stop it. Get out of my way. Let's go. It's not my fault, Andre. He provoked me. I just started it. Try that again. Go. Get out of here. Cool. So good. No, that's all wrong. <clears throat> so, if you have a ceasefire, maybe we'll eat something? Since we have more food to eat now? <laughs> yeah, a good idea. Yes. <laughs> Oh, what about the old man? We have to feed him as well. He's sitting there locked up. I can take some food to the old man. No, let's just let him out. I'm sure there are people here that are more insane than that old man. Right? Yes, that's right. Can I unlock his door? The prison will be ruined, and Freedom will welcome them joyfully at the entrance. So, Adam, Oof. why'd you lie to me? I'm not Adolf, I'm Albert. I didn't lie to you. I just phrase things differently. What? You have to fight for Masha. It's clear now. Instead of lying on your bed. You can go, Adolf. Let's go. I'm not Adolf, I'm Albert. Yes, I know, I know. Masha, we need to tell mom, so to say, so that everything is right and we have everything in order of... We need to rent the cafe in time, distill some moonshine for everybody. What are you talking about? Well, we, we, we need to call a cellist from out of town because our uncle Colia went on Bender. <gasps> what? Uh, are you insane or something? What's the matter? It was a joke, don't you understand? It was just a joke. It was a leg pool. You should laugh. Ha ha. Well, frankly speaking, I don't need to get married. It's still early. By the way, they'll eat away everything I brought from my mom's. Better hurry. You can go, Vasya. I'll go. Just go. 
I'm going. <laughs> I should have brought myself thermal insoles, after all. It was good. Yes. <laughs> I can't do anything, Santa. Everybody is fighting with each other. Masha is going to get married to some Vasily guy. Mm. And the rest? Did the fathers fight some more? No, they didn't. They both had their own work to do. Well, that's great. Do not be afraid. The truth will be revealed for them. So then, I'm getting it right? Yes. Run to the station. I'll catch up. Mm-hmm. Try not to swing the car around too much. Otherwise, it'll roll away. I'll go out and make you roll downstairs. <sighs> Run away, old man. Come on, get dressed. He'll look in again. <laughs> oh, Andre, would you like to eat something? Hmm? No, no, the passengers should have dinner. There's not enough food to go around. I'd rather the passengers eat something first. I'll just eat something later. Yes, I see you're worried about your daughter, right? It doesn't make sense to worry or not. Why worry? Well, she's young. Oh, you know, I used to be the same. Well, some time ago. <laughs> oh, you can't be serious. Yes. You're still young, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I have a daughter that is older than yours, and she has two children. Yes, so I'm officially a grandmother. Yeah, and does a grandmother have a grandfather? No, there's no grandfather. We split up a long uh, time ago. I'm sorry. I didn't mean Never that. mind. I'm not a widow. Oh, I've forgotten to tell you. I found your button. Here it is. Right now. Have a look. Yes? It's yours. Yeah, it's mine. Isn't it? I thought I should sew on the button. You have no one to sew it, right? I'll sew it for you right now. I have a needle and thread with me. Yes, here it is. I'll do it. Well, my daughter lives in Sakhalin. I decided to take some days off since my shift ended. I'll visit her sometime. Now I just have no idea when. Well, the weather will change and they will rescue you. Yes, yes, of course. They will rescue us, you'll see. And your life will get better. And your daughter's life as well. I think we should believe in good things. What do you think? Irina, you're absolutely yeah. right. So. <laughs> Fabulous, of course. It's amazing. The yeah. world is like a village. I'll look at it right here. I Albert, remember our deal. If you have any free time, you should be playing. Please, now the violin in your hands. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh. I've been distracting him. I don't think. This man should be talking to you at all. Now, Albert, dear, let's begin. Now concentrate. Wait, please, don't go in there. Stop it. Huh? You've already spread gossip, you. Oh, my God. Well, you must be ashamed, by the way. You're a man! You're an old man! People like you vote for the Communist Party! That's right, I'm looking at you, old man! That's what are you right! Talking about? Natasha, what happened? What happened? What happened is that you're a weak man. A really weak man that can't even defend me from dirty gossip. <gasps> Stop playing the violin! Oh, oh come on, you don't violin. have to take it out on the kid. Here's the deal. What did the old man say about me and Victor? You've already spread gossip! Please give the violin to me! Calm you down. have no calm idea down. how valuable calm it is, down. please! It's an Amati! He hasn't said anything, but what is going on between you and Victor? Everything. Everything oh. that we didn't have between us. And you know, Oleg, I'm tired. I've had just about enough. I'm fed up with it all. I'm leaving. I'm going with him. Victor, do you want to explain to me what's going on? Uh -huh. Listen, you can't do that. Let's let's talk to each other. Don't come no, near just me. Stop. Wait Victor, a minute. Wait defend a minute. Me. Hey. Don't come near me. Come on, stop you... it. Come on. Give it to me. Stop that. <laughs> oh, Gray. Uh, I'll pay you back. I'm so sorry. What? How come she can? But I can't. She went out with one guy first, then with another. Go to hell, all of you. Jokes. Olya, please do something. 
Come on, help me! <laughs> I am not a psychiatrist. Uh-huh. And so now you just leave? You made your choice! Wait, Natasha, wait. I'm so shocked as well. Masha! 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 Come back! She won't come back, Andre. I know her. I know my daughter too, by the way, Sergey. Then you're gonna have to be honest and tell your daughter the entire truth. Don't worry, I'll be able to do it without your advice. Listen, Andre, listen. I don't care about her, but I feel sorry for her. You never know what mess she'll get into. Masha! Can you take all this away? I don't need someone else's stuff in here. Oh, yeah, well, come and take her things away. Why? Here? I don't want her digging through our compartment. Well, I don't know. Let's go back to the station. She'll come when we're out. To the station? That crazy old man is there. You're right. Hmm? Listen, I'm just afraid. The carriage is frozen and won't move. Were you cold with me? Uh huh. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I always knew it would happen sooner or later. Natasha and I are very different. Yes, the same story with me. But initially, Victor was completely different. He was so glad when the book was published. This book that you read, this stupid book. It's a... a funny thing, but I'm glad that all this happened. I was never ready to make the first step, and now everything has worked out, in a way. Don't you think? Well, as they say, if life gives you a lemon, make lemonade. So, are you happy too, then? Yes. Expensive. What are you talking about, young Take man? A picture of me by the it's table. an Amati. A copy? <laughs> I understand. Last year I bought a bike from Sanya, almost new. Left it by the house. Uncle Saronia ran it over with a tractor. He was drunk. That was a pity. Attention! <sighs> Attention, everyone! My daughter is lost. Please help me find her. I'm worried. I'm ready. Sure, it's your conscience talking to you. I'll give you all flashlights. We'll go in a group. Wake up. Mm. Wake up. Mm, yeah, yeah. What, what, what's happened? Masha's lost. Everybody's going on a search. On a search? I'm going too then, all right? Yeah. Oh. Hey, young man, did you get the flashlights, huh? Yes. Do they work? It seems like... Functional? Huh? <clears throat> okay, I'm going. Oh, newlywed. Start your snowmobile. You can light with your headlight. If she got lost, she'll go towards the sound. Take this with you. Just find her. Listen. Stop calling me a newlywed. It was all a joke, okay? What do you mean? A leg pull. A joke. <laughs> what? Don't you understand? Masha! 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 Where are you? 
Don't touch her! Because of me! Because of She's you. nearly frozen to death because of you. Is everything all right? All clear! We found her! Yeah. Here, here. She should take some aspirin. I have some here in my bag. Why aspirin? About 150 grams of brandy would be fine too. You're nuts. Let it go, let it go. The child needs hot tea with lemon. No pills or alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You ready? All right then. <gasps> well, we can massage your legs with vodka. <sighs> Albert, straighten up. Fix your hair. It's a mess. <coughs> Didn't you call me today? Dad, tell me. Why are you blaming Sergei's father? Well, I've heard you say to him that it was all his fault. I don't understand. Well, maybe you should tell her. Listen, I have no idea what you are talking about, Andre. All right, then, I guess I'll tell her. The fact is that I am not your father. What? And the truth is that this man, Zarkov, is your father. This man who left your mother years ago when she was pregnant with you. That's far from the truth. What's your version? Well, Galena told me she was pregnant and that you were the father. That's why I went away. Not to bother You're me. lying. Galena told me you ran away with some girl. I didn't run away with a girl. I had a, a couple of drinks and kissed one girl just for fun. But Golka thought, I don't know, God knows what. But it turns out, she lied about you. So, is it not because of her? My wife's name is Valeria. I... I met her about two years after that. Wait, I don't understand a thing! Masha, we are brother and sister. No! Yes. No, not at all. Lara, we should tell them all. Uh, yes, uh, the truth is that you're not our son. Well, you're our son. You're our beloved but adopted son. Yes, the truth is that I couldn't carry a baby. We adopted you. Well, we love you. Wait, it turns out that... Don't just stand there. Go ahead and kiss her, young man. Good for them. We'll miss the new year with this drama. Let's go. Come on, Albert. Come on, come on. At first, you sacrificed the sausage and now all the rest. Don't worry, Natasha won't be offended. Yeah, sure. It's a pity Albert won't be playing at the Kremlin after all. Hmm. Well, don't be so disappointed. Hmm? He's young. Oh, really? Albertique has time to get to the Kremlin. Oh. Yeah. And after all, it seems to me that your boy doesn't really like to play the violin. It'll be better for him to do something else. <laughs> Send him up for a soccer team. <laughs> You're crazy, aren't you? He would break his hands playing soccer. They play soccer with their legs. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a pack of sparkling wine here under the bench. Help me carry it. <laughs> Wait a second, I'll help you. Albert! Sit. Okay. Put out your paw. Sit. Okay, fetch. 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 Albert! Fetch. Fetch! Come. Come. Put your paw out. Fetch. Fetch. Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, ladies. Drink up. I'll see you in Moscow. You know I didn't like this place at first, but it grew on me. I feel the same way. It's even better now that there's more men with us. <laughs> Here, take this. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Your daughter is very nice. She seems to be very smart. A father's daughter. Oh, isn't it tasty? <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is that Sergei chose Masha himself. Mm -hmm. Why should we interfere? Soccer is soccer, but love is love. Lyra, mm. I love you. Mm. 
<laughs> Hello. But I insist that she graduate from the academy because higher education is higher education. I agree. I'm ready. Happy New Year. I feel really bad about the Amadi, but this was its fate. Well, you know, sooner or later he was going to throw it against the wall. Hmm. It's just not his cup of tea. Well, I am considering. I might want to send him to karate. Karate? Well, you wanted to. Hooray! <laughs> Mom, I want to go karting and swimming as well. Oh, well, for goodness sake. Well, to begin with, we don't need to repair the violin. No way, Mom. I'm not going to give up the violin. I need it for the all-round and harmonious development. Oh, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Careful. 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 What did I tell you, Mom? Everybody's happy. And you know that it's all thanks to Santa. <laughs> or I guess rather, to him. Yeah, you're still so young, my dear. <laughs> oh, honey. Hmm? Happy New Year, friends! Happy, Happy, New, Year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yeah. 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 Happy New, New Year! Year. Yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year! Yeah. Can you see wow. that everybody is happy? Oh, sure. <laughs> but that's not me who deserves the yep. credit. And who? You. Oh, come on. I know you're not the real Santa. But it was you who had the idea how to happy have the new year. Other. We made it. We Wait. made it. Me? Oh. Probably me. Just take a look at those. Could I Attention to all those who are boarding the train. The express train number nine Moscow is arriving at the third stop platform number five. The carriage numbers run from the train's head. Welcome to the station. Attention to all those who are boarding the train. Mom. The express train number Mom. nine Moscow Olesia, is arriving Olesia, at the third Olesia, my stop dear child. Number five. The carriage numbers run from Mom, the train's head. I want you to meet someone. This is Olya. Hello. I thought your name's Natasha. Oh, Never well. mind. <laughs> Hello. So, Volodya, take me to the hotel and take her to the shop. Have her buy a dress for the concert. And a handbag. And a handbag. And high boots. Uh, don't you need a hat? And a hat as well. <laughs> Sergey. Hello. Sergey. Oh, hi, guys. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, I thought you were all gonna be mad at me. What for? You know we're not mad at you. If we played better, we'd be invited to the Bundesliga. <laughs> so we decided to meet you and see you off. You don't need to see me off anywhere. I've decided to stay here. Why? Well, we have the training camp before Europe ahead of us. Qualifiers. Well, and then we'll see, right? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah! Well, guys, this is my fiance, Masha. Nice to meet you. So I guess we have her to thank, right? Yes, and her as well. Hello. <laughs> Seriosa, please introduce us to your friend. <laughs> yes, we really love soccer. <sighs> Andre, it's Arena. Yes, yes, we arrived well. With my friends, yes. I've already agreed, yes. She'll cover for me. I'll go by taking the express train. I'll be in time before you sit down at the holiday table, yes. They'll stop anywhere, I ask, especially in Dalny. See you soon. Albert. Have you gotten lost? A detective. Here, hold your violin. The express train number nine Moscow is arriving at the The violin. Is it in order? Well, why not? By the way, while we're in Moscow, we shouldn't forget to buy a kimono for your future karate. Albert? 
What's the matter? This is a present for you from Santa. Wow, thank you. I think I know what's inside. He's happy! <laughs> Let's open it. <gasps> wow! Oh. <gasps> what will you call it? Watson. Watson. What a funny name. 